Hey fellas, you seen any garage sales? All right, have a good one. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another one. Today I'm out picking on Route 40 for the annual National Highway Sale. I don't know what we're gonna find, but come along with me as I try to find some treasure. Enjoy. All right, here we go. Let's hope the first one's a good one. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Twenty five bucks on him. Ooh. <laughs> I might have to grab him. That is just too cool. I kind of love that. I'd set that off in the corner and it just hits you as soon as you walk in. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Goosebumps are just so iconic. I love the art and everything on it and with it having Pepsi and stuff, that's just too cool. Yeah. What do you got on that big shack jacket up there? Oh. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Let me think about that one. Some of that clothes stuff goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything on the back of that? I don't remember. No. No. Uh, just blank. Okay. It's not cheap though. No. Nah. Oh, that's cool. ACDC. In concert. That's sixty bucks on it. It's kind of cool. I've never seen these big stage ones. Those are pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna get this off of you. Okay. This is too cool. No. That it? Uh, do you any guy more uh, like older action figures or anything hidden away? Do you like I, I like GI Joe, Ninja Turtles, stuff '80s, '90s figures, stuff like that. There may be some stuff I haven't got out of the trailer. Okay, cool. Stuff like that. Like that in here. There's a little G.I. Joe right there. I can dig through that real fast if you let me. Yeah. Yeah, cool. These are trays that set in. Okay, cool. There's a ninja. Oh yeah, there's ninja turtles and stuff. Beetlejuice. But I asked, all look Star Wars up here. These are 80s, 90s, 97. Oh, look at that. G.I. Joe. Some of these are 90s. I'll leave the 90s ones. Snoopy. <laughs> We've got a bunch of little stuff hidden around in here. G.I. Joe. A little E.T. Another E.T. Oh, I love my E.T. stuff. Is that an eraser? He's just a rubber guy. I collected everything. I used to have a glass cabinet in the basement where we used to live and all this stuff was all just... Oh, that's out. awesome. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like it would be a cool display having all this little stuff. Yeah. I love how like a bunch of little stuff just look next to each other and stuff. Uh -huh. you, that's how my, my shelves are at my house. When my but kids man. were little, I put a sign on the front that says, Keep out. Sign <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see, Mac, <laughs> Mac. Yeah, I'll grab that for five. That's fine. Yeah, that's awesome Do too. Do you want me to add up what we got? Yeah, whatever you want right there. How twenty-five? How about twenty. Uh, I I know I can get five out of this. Uh, you can take out the Snoopy, and I'll give you twenty for the rest. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be great. That is so rad. Goosebumps, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, three of my favorite things. <laughs> Okay, so that was an awesome first score. Obviously, I am pretty excited about it. You could probably tell in the footage. I was stoked and shocked to see that thing. I have never seen a Goosebumps display ad like that. Like, it's got Pepsi, it's got Mountain Dew, it's got Goosebumps. It's got it all. What a fantastic 
little score. That is going to be something that I am holding on to for a while. Hopefully I can find a place to display it, but even if I can, it's going to be one of those things that's hard to let go because I have a lot of nostalgia for Goosebumps, like walking into the old Scholastics book fair and picking out a Goosebumps book, or even to this day, watching one of the old episodes of Goosebumps is something that I absolutely love. So that's going to be something that I am going to have a hard time getting rid of. I don't even know what the value is on it, but it's probably pretty good if I had to guess in 25 bucks for that thing. I I think we got a really, really good deal. What a way to start off this highway sale. Hello. Lots of toys. A muscle figure in there. Those are only a buck. I'll grab that one for a buck. What are you? A little Pikachu for a buck. What is he? Oh, he's a calculator. <laughs> I'll grab him too. Look at that, that's cool. We got an elf tray. <laughs> 1989. I don't see a sticker on him anywhere. It's too cool to pass up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this stuff off you. So we had a dollar on this bag, a dollar on him, and then what would you want for the tray? I didn't see a price on that one. Oh, a dollar. Okay. So three bucks? Yeah. Alright. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. you. Have a good day. You too. So we got a little Pikachu. We got the Alf tray right here. That's too cool to leave for a buck for sure. And then in here I saw there's at least the turtle guy. And then I think that might be a Mortal Kombat figure. I'm not 100% sure. But for a buck I was like, why not? Did you work me a deal if I bought all the thermostats and all the sealant out there? Sorry, all the what? The sealant? That you have, yeah, you have three bucks a piece on them. Uh, There's two boxes of them. Nah, that'd be about the best I could do, probably. I don't know, they're gonna come out about $100 a piece. Oh, damn. I think I'll go ahead and buy all that. Uh, if it came out to be, I'd have to One, $189. I'm going to go grab money out of my car real fast. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I might be coming back for those car seats if I get a text back, too. Okay. So you're a YouTuber, I take it? I am, yeah. Yeah, okay. I do it, and I'm documenting the Route 40 sale this, this oh, okay. next couple days, so, yeah. yeah. So Should be fun. Pretty good deal there. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate right, it. Yeah, Okay guys, so I just picked up this box full of thermostats and these two boxes full of sealant right there for $189, which is probably one of the bigger purchases I'm going to make of the day, but it could very well be the best purchase I make of this entire sale. And that's because while I was there, I did end up looking up those sealants and it looks like they were selling between like 40 and 50 bucks a pop. I bought them for $3 a piece. They did look like they were gonna be slower sellers, so it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have for a little bit and they'll sell over time, but that should be some pretty good profit. And then on the thermostats, I was thinking maybe I can get like 40 bucks a piece on them. I paid $10 a piece on them. He was saying they were worth closer to like a hundred bucks. I'm going to have to look up those models when I get home. Um, but those could end up being a huge score because if they're worth close to a hundred bucks, that's like $1,200 in thermostats. I'm not really sure. I'm sure you guys probably seen a comp pop up, but that very well may be my best score of this entire sale. 
Here we go. This is the first uh, giant sale that I've seen so far where there's a ton of vendors all set up in the same area. Now normally at these giant group sales like this, I'm not usually finding a ton to flip because a lot of the people here are professional vendors, but it's just good to finally see one of them and hopefully I'll find a few things. Okay, looks like we got some toys here. Check those out, a couple of uh, Masters of the Universe tops. Those are pretty cool, five bucks for the bag. We'll snag that. All right guys, Ben from the future here. I just wanted to pause the video real fast because I am finally looking these guys up while I'm editing this video and these turned out to be an insane score. So I thought these guys might've been from Masters of the Universe because the guy on the right over there kind of looks like Ram Man or Manny Faces or something like that. So I figured they were probably from Motu, maybe like a Battle Tops line that they did, but it turns out his name is actually Rotor and he's worth around a hundred dollars. But what's even crazier is this other guy over here. His name is Twistoid and it looks like Loose, he's going for around $200. It's absolutely insane. I had no idea these figures were worth that much. And yeah, it's a huge bolo. So if you ever see these guys, don't pass them up. Looks like a Godzilla. It's a 1987 Soma Godzilla. 30 bucks though. That's unfortunate. I would like to grab him. Is that Evil Knievel? It is Evil Knievel. He's 10 bucks. That might be worth it. I think Evil Knievels go for a little bit. I'm gonna have to look him up in a second. He's like the bendy one. Got a couple fun older ones in there. Huh? So there's a couple fun older ones in there, yeah. Oh, that's Yeah, these are the I tops, knew, yeah. I knew someone would want them. There, you got a Godzilla in there, it's pretty cool too. Yeah. He's so cool. Uh, yeah. All that old kaiju stuff is really cool. I, well, I'm a toy collector. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm trying to get, trying to dump the dolls, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew someone would pick up. So yeah, the what are the, what is that one? I, I, I couldn't remember. So I think these are Masters of the Universe. Nah, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you see the other one? Over no, there I didn't. That was like that? I thought it was one more. Maybe it, that might have been the only two. There's the Godzilla. He's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, thirty bucks is a little too much. How on much did I have him? Thirty. Oh, he's not thirty, huh? I don't know why I put thirty. He's only twenty. I don't know why I have thirty on it. That must have been from the other shelf. If you want it for twenty, you can have him for twenty. Put him down. You I'll that. buy him for twenty. Okay. That's fine. Would you do? Uh, would you do five on him? Okay. He's just a little stained up. Cool. I'll do five. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. I can pay you all I at once. At I have to look him up. Though. That's completely fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great if you let me look at that. <laughs> this is right up my alley. Getting exclusive access. <laughs> So here I did end up spending a decent amount of time digging through this entire tote of toys that she uncovered. I'll start popping up some comps of the stuff that I found. Unfortunately, while I was digging through this, my GoPro ended up dying and I didn't realize it to swap the battery out. However, I did find some pretty good stuff. There were some G.I. Joes, there were some Star Wars, there was some more niche stuff like Battle Beasts, and there was also some Black Star figures. I ended up doing pretty good digging through this entire tote. A lot of it was like McDonald's toys and you know cheap stuff that I wasn't really interested in, but there there were a few gems in here. And like I said, unfortunately, I just don't have the footage of me pulling out all this stuff, but I did come out with a nice little stack, and this was the only vendor that I ended up buying stuff off of at the stop. All right, I was getting ready to wrap up the day, but I ended up seeing this little antique store on the side of the road. I figured why not just stop in real fast, see if there's anything in there that we can't live without. Yo, check these out. Goosebumps collectibles. I think I might have to buy these since we got that standee this morning. Look at that. We got Curly the skeleton and Slappy over here. And they are 15 bucks a piece. And these are the original 1996 ones. There has, there's actually quite a few of these in the set. You can see right there all the ones in the set. And here's two of them. And they're brand new in the box for 15 bucks a piece. I don't know what they're worth off the top of my head, but I feel like that's probably a pretty good price. Yeah, you know what? I'm grabbing them. 
Those are too cool. All right, then check out this little wall of toys right here. I came across this guy who I have sold before. I think he was from Fisher Price, if I remember right. Three bucks. I'm going to say the last one I sold was for over 20. So I'm going to grab him as well. Man, this place just keeps going and going. There's actually a decent amount of booths in here. I didn't think it was quite this big. There's a lot to look at. Actually, who are you? I have never seen him before. $8, it just says Vintage Transformer. It feels like a cheaper plastic or something. He might be a bootleg. I've actually been getting into bootleg stuff lately, so. I, you know what, I'm gonna grab him. Eight bucks, why not? Okay, I didn't find anything else there. I just got those four little items, the two action figures and the two Goosebumps figures, which is awesome to see. Way to finish out the day. Begin the day with Goosebumps, we end the day with Goosebumps. And with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down low, hit that like button for me. And if you wanna see more content just like this, I'll be hitting plenty more sales throughout the summer. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting.